Civilians stationed in Kabul, regardless of diplomatic status, were provided handguns and AKs. As you speak of ammunition, mm -hmm. uh, Bill Blom wrote that he would choose the AK-74, uh, assuming this is AKS-74U, due to local resupply with magazines and ammunition readily available. The MP5 may or may not have been maintained, and diplomats are likely to have some familiarity with the AK platforms. So two things. Local resupply. Uh, we've had this in the past where people talk about how easy it is to get AK-74 and 545 items in Afghanistan. You and I have been, been there. Um, I remember the staple of it being 76239. However, I was not on ground with the civilian populace as much as you. So I would very much like to hear from you. How available is 5.45 by 39 uh, ammunition? Well, um, probably about as available as it is in the US. So it's the thing that uh, people know about. And uh, if, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, they call uh, 545 Kalakov. So it's, uh, they have different names for different, even for type one, type two, they have certain names. Uh, unfortunately, my diary is very poor. So for type two, type three, there'll be Shishakov. So people know what 545 AK is. But all, it all, in, in all of my time that I spent there, I've only seen one 545 AK. I was just driving through downtown Kabul and you know, you can imagine it. And so there's just a dude sitting on a small chair with the AKS 74U that is completely white. There is no uh, finish on it whatsoever. <laughs> and he's just sitting on the small chair with a small table in the middle of the street. He's not security. He's not like, maybe he's waiting for a bus, but I'm pretty sure there was no bus there. And I just, I was, I was so psyched to see an AKS 74. I just like, Hey man, nice God. And he's like, yeah, it's great. Uh -huh. And I, I wanted to talk to him to take some pictures, but then I thought it's, um, you know, it's not a, uh, he might not be a, you know, he might not want to appear on nine hole reviews one day. So, uh, when I came back there, he wasn't there anymore. So the majority of weapons you're going to see is definitely seven, six, two by 39 and finding five forty five. You would actually need to make a little detour of your entire convoy, go to your you know full favorite gun store and buy some 545 there to resupply. But in this particular scenario, there is one consideration we haven't talked about: is uh, the the fact that you when you get to the airport, you've got 34 soldiers and officers from the airborne forces who are all using 545 AKs. So when you get there, you may not going to have any 9 millimeter. They're not going to have any MP5 mags. But what they're going to have is they're going to have a lot of 545 magazines and all the ammo you can carry. So I think that's one more advantage of AKS-74 U in this particular scenario. Uh, because when you get to the airport, you're going to have an ammo resupply. Not in the city, not picking it up from the, you know, the fighters that you shot because... It is completely unrealistic. In this scenario, you're only alive until you're driving, and you can't possibly get into the engagement and then go looting the bodies because that's not what's going to – it's not a It's not a computer game. It's not an online RPG. So the resupply is possible with 545, but only when you get to the end. Uh, so I, that that's actually, I mean, I wanted to keep that to this point because I think a lot of times you hear from people that, oh, I'm just going to locally pick up items. I think a lot of times when we're talking about battlefield pickup, I think video games have really skewed us in the wrong direction. Um, especially when you're talking about you're fighting in, in a location where there's not, not a standardized web gear or not a standardized method of carrying ammunition or weapons or whatever grenades that you're running. Um, and a lot of times, if you're talking about local resupply, I think that applies more so if you were in a location on a long-term basis. Um, say if you were soft D and dropped into Afghanistan in the early days, um, running surveillance on potential hide locations for UBL, um, that may be more so a consideration than thinking that you were going to trance across town, picking up a 545 ammunition off of dead fighters um, that you come across as you would in any Call of Duty episode. 
Yeah, I, I, I do think that you're probably spot on with that, Henry. I think video games have provided a lot of exposure for firearms and, and, and you just want to call it gun culture of sorts to a very wide audience in a very positive way that's gotten people interested in firearms. But at the same time, you do run into some of these misnomers about you know, the effectiveness of how things work or in this particular instance, you know, the PUBGs of the world or the looter shooters where you're going to go loot the body that you've just taken out to go get more ammunition. You know, I know we've talked at length about this, that the availability of 545 in, in the Middle East is just, it's not there in comparison to the 7.62. Right. I mean, and, and that's honestly, uh, Kalashnikov is a system. It shoots 545, which is more prevalent towards the um, old Warsaw Pact countries. Ukraine is littered with 545 on the eastern side. Um, the Middle East is not, quite frankly. Um, I mean, can you find it? Sure. I'm yeah. not saying you can't find it, but is is it as dramatic, dramatically littered across the, the country? Average, the average fighter that you would going to be engaging is, are they carrying 545? Are they carrying 762? Regardless of whether or not it's reasonable that you would go be like, hold on, guys, I need more mags. Like, let me go pick some up off of this guy. Like, the odds that you're going to run into a situation where that, that individual has 545 is minuscule compared to 762 based on everything that we know. I think that that said, though, the arms trade of, even if we're not talking about the Middle East in general, the arms trade of Afghanistan itself is just, oh, my dog medicine, is so strange um, because unlike anywhere else, you have all these exotic weapons that, that you could find, and people actually have ammunition to shoot it. I People actually have Martini Henry ammunition in select parts, not everywhere, obviously. It's... It's take it to take it take it within a context that you know I'm not saying you could find it everywhere littered all over the countryside, but it's a place that you could find some things like that a little easier, and it's a strange combination of items that you could find, um, but it's it, there should be a distinction between could you find it and will you find it littered all over the place. Henry, are you trying to tease something that's going to be coming up on the show? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh.